Hi guys, this is just a quick little um, video on how to put some text into a mug. We were doing it in class today and we kind of ran out of time before we got it right. So there's a, f a load of different ways of doing this as there is with pretty much everything in Photoshop. But um, the best way we're going to do it is to create, um, wrap a rectangle around the mug. Call it what's called a smart object. And what a smart object does is once you get the shape of the smart object right by warping it and twisting it, Everything you drop into the smart object takes that shape. Okay, so it's reasonably straightforward. There's a couple of little things just to remember. Um, you can just kind of play the video again. Okay, so we have um, down here this little box. It's basically a little rectangle box. You can see it down here. I'm just going to click on that, right? Oh, once again, and I'm going to draw a box just on the edge of this mug, right? That's it. Now, at the moment, it's just gray. Gray is fine. I'm going to go over to layers. I'm going to click on right click on it and I'm going to go convert to smart object. Uh, now, you know, I'm not a fan of these things, but sometimes they're pretty much all they can do. Uh, they're the only thing that will do it properly. So if I go to edit and I go to transform and I go down to warp, I have a couple of options here, but the one that I'm going to choose is cylinder, right? Now, you'll see we have a grab handle top right hand corner, center, bottom center and left. And we just have to keep kind of playing around with these till we get it right. Now I'll just show you here. Sometimes you have to go in and out of um, warp to distort. So you just grab the center one down to try and match the curve of the cup. Now these corners aren't great. So we then go edit, transform and distort. I'll be able to bring the corners in. And you'll see the bottom will go out. That's going to be okay. We're going to get that right now in a second. Um, so we can bring the corners up like that. And then we go back and we go edit transform and warp again and then we can bring that down so it's pretty much all we're doing is we're mapping the 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 gray square to the side of the cup that's that's pretty much it right and um, so when we finish with that we just click kind of okay so it's kind of there now here's the thing over here we've made a a, a rectangle layer has turned up right what we're going to do is we're going to double click on that now what it's done is here's our original uh, image and here's our rectangle now what it's done is it's basically, you can actually just see the mug in the background. It's opened the smart object in a separate window and we can drop anything that we want to drop in there. Okay, but the first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to hide that particular layer, right? Because we don't want gray being part of it. And I have up the file and place embedded. It gives me an option to put something in. Now, Cara asked me about this today uh, for her, um, I've just put, um, synesthesia okay there shouldn't be an s on the end i'm just going to click on that all i did was i just basically made um a rectangular object in photoshop i put the word synesthesia in and i saved it with a transparent background so i'm just going to go place and because we wanted to wrap around the cup i'm just going to just stretch it a little bit past the image just to show you what it's like okay so all i've done is i put a gray box onto the, the mug I turned it into a smart object I, I i warped it and wrapped it around the mug and that's pretty much it now i'm just going to say okay and I'm going to close it and it's going to say, are you sure? And I'm going to go, yes. Now, there you go. So that's what it's done, right? It basically just took it from the other image and wrapped it around the mug. And I find that the, the, sometimes the, the, the difficult part with doing these things, we use the smart object just, I'm doing them manually. It's, it's hard to imagine exactly what it would look like. Um, and which means it's very hard to kind of settle on it now. So that's just one one way of doing this right so we could just as easily do it with an object as well if we wanted to right so i'm just gonna i'm gonna go back i'm just gonna delete so just, so that's done you can just replay that part of it right i'm just gonna delete that layer there right and i'm gonna do the same thing again this time i'm gonna do it with an image so we get into our gray uh, box and we're just gonna grab this around here and we get it to roughly kind of the size we want we go over to our layers we right click and we go to Convert to smart object, edit, transform, and warp. And just from the defaults, we're going to choose cylinder. Again, I'm just going to play around with this again. It's going to get the box pretty much size of that. And the top one will move it up, but the bottom one will move it down that way. Right, so we'll go back in. Uh, transform in the start. We're going to bring this one up to about here again. We we'll go back to warp and we'll bring it back down. So we'll get the corners right on this. Okay. Okay, then we go edit, transform and warp again. We're going to bring it down. And that'll do for what we're doing. It's a bit wonky on the run. Ah, we'll fix it. Edit. Transform and distort. That wasn't that one. Okay, there we go. Edit, transform, warp. 
it'll do for what we're doing okay so we have that there right now um we want to uh put an image into it this time right so i'm going to double click on the little thumbnail again it opens it up in its own window but this time i'm going to go file um place in bed oi no 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 click on stock it's going to start opening adobe stock it doesn't work okay so we go file place embedded and this time i've got a little picture on my desktop of a cheeky little kid um he's now 30 years old okay again i'm just going to extend it past the mug now if i was being really specific with this i would have made my gray box exactly the same size as um the size of the mug i didn't do that i'm just going to put this on as a kind of a print right just to have it i'll have the gray background okay so um pretty much that's that image there so hang on there for one second um edit transform and warp yeah i'm kind of happy with it okay so it's fine right it's fine i'm just going to click close and it'll ask me do i want to save changes i'm going to say yes Ugh. okay so <laughs> all right so it's wrapped around it uh it looks a bit warpy um it, it it worked perfectly well it's just the image itself probably isn't the best one that i could have used but you can see how it, it, it it's wrapped it around the mug now it was fine for the text because the text was like a single layer of synesthesia that's grand and um, if i'd been doing this you know properly i would have matched you'll see there's a little black line here okay i would have matched my gray box right up to the edge on this and it would have done it a bit more perfectly now it does look a bit kind of wrap around you but sure that's the way it's supposed to look uh okay so look i hope that's been of some use to um i'll kind of post it or I'll, I'll i'll send a kind of a link out to everyone on this you can just give it a go um yeah you can let us know if there's any other questions on it but hopefully that'll do it sorry we have no class next week because it's um uh, christmas open day but that doesn't mean i won't be around to answer questions or respond to emails so if you get stuck on something just let me know and don't forget that the um uh, everything isn't due until january so there is loads of time left so no panicking right <laughs>